Hi, hello there. So what we're going to introduce today is the concept of um, difference of two squares. Right, so the difference of two squares is a, it's a very simple concept to understand. So uh, it takes, I take numbers like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, blah, 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 blah. Each of those numbers is what's called a perfect square, okay, or a squared number. It's a perfect square or a squared number. And what that means is that another integer has been squared to give you that number. For example, one squared, two squared, three squared, four squared, five squared, six squared. Now, in algebra, we also have numbers that are perfect squares. For example, four x squared. So four x squared is two x squared, because two squared is four, and x squared, well, x squared is x squared, okay? Similarly, x squared on its own is a squared number because it's x multiplied by x. You know, p squared is actually p multiplied by p. So they're all squared numbers. So something like 16m squared is actually... Well, what's the square root of 16? It's 4. What's the square root of m squared? It's just a single m. So it's 4m multiplied by 4m, or 4m all to be squared. So these do exist, these squared numbers. Now, finding the difference of them, that's where it gets amazing. Okay? So what we're talking about when we're getting the di difference of them is when we're taking them away. So for example, let's take a very simple one. If I want to factorize x squared minus y squared, okay? So they're two squared numbers. That's the first thing you check. Are these algebraic sums or whatever you're dealing with, are they perfect squares? Are they squared numbers? And if they are, well, listen, we'll go back to our old friend, Mr. Box, okay? So, there must be an x, and there must be a y, because it's x by x, x squared, x, y by y, y squared. Now, I see four things I need to fill out using my array method we've done this before, but I only see two things in the answer. So this is where it gets a bit fun, because one of them has to be a plus in order to do this, and one of them has to be a minus. So let's fill it out and see what happens. x by x x squared, x by plus y, plus xy, x by minus y, minus xy, and y by minus y is minus y squared. Add them all up, you've got an x squared, plus an xy, minus an xy, minus a y squared, and of course, they cancel, and you're left with x squared minus y squared. Okay, so we'll try another one. Let's try 9x squared minus 4. So again, let's put our box together. Now, we have to put the same thing here and here, and the only difference would be the plus or minus. So what, what are we putting? Well, what's the square root of nine? It's three. What's the square root of x squared? It's just an x. What's the square root of four? It's two. So if that's there, it's also there. And now I just have to decide plus, minus. Multiply them all out again, just to be sure, okay? Let's see, do we get the same thing back? 9x squared plus 6x minus 6x minus 4. So as you can see, they're going to cancel. 
and you're left with 9x squared minus 4. So what is this factorized out? Well, it's just 3x plus 2, 3x minus 2. That's what it is when it's factorized out. Okay? So this is the ultimate answer we're looking for. Now, when you get quick enough, you won't have to do this. You won't have to. You can stop once you've got it broken in. I'm only doing this to show that it does work and it's a check that it does work, but you don't have to do it that way. You can just write down the answer as you see. So we'll try it again with a harder one. Okay, so have a look at this one. 25a squared minus 81p squared. So this time I'm just going to fill it out. Use your calculator. Watch. Square root of 25. 5. What's the square root of a squared? Single a. Square root of 81. 9. Square root of p squared? p. So that must mean there's a 5a here and a 9p here. Put a plus, put a minus. Don't bother filling it out. You can if you want to check that you're right. But you should have 5a plus 9p, 5a minus 9p. Okay? So you're going to try a few of these questions, give them a go.